Hello, this is a Belkasoft tutorial series video. In this video, we'll discuss how to acquire remote data using the Belkasoft Remote Acquisition, or Belkasoft R for short, a new DFIR tool brought to you by Belkasoft. The first thing you'll need to do is to check one or several endpoints and press the Acquire button at the bottom of the Endpoints window. The following remote acquisition types are available. Acquisition of a remote hard drive or removable disk drive. Acquisition of selected artifacts from an endpoint. Acquisition of a remote mobile device, iOS and Android devices only, connected to an endpoint. Please note, this option is only available if you have selected a single endpoint. And then acquisition of an endpoint's RAM memory, Windows only. To complete a disk acquisition, first you'll press the Acquire button, Disk Drive Acquisition for one or multiple checked endpoints. Click on a drive of interest. Select how the image is to be stored. Specify the image creation options. Image format, uncompressed RAW or compressed EO1. Calculate a checksum in SHA-1, SHA-256 or MD5 algorithm, and then verify the output upon the acquisition completion. Split the output image file by chunks of any desired size. Configure the time when the image should be collected, as well as a moment when it should be transferred from the endpoint computer to the server. If you want to perform the acquisition operation right now, leave the default option as immediately. Check the delete the local image if you do not need to save it on the remote machine. Review all chosen options on the last disk acquisition setup page. Set the endpoint image path and the server image path if the default settings are not suitable. Part of the paths and image names is specified in the format of the macros. This allows you to create unique names, and this can be especially convenient in the case of multiple acquisitions. Now, start the disk acquisition. In the task window, you can track the progress of the tasks. Once that task is completed, the image will be available in the folder specified in the settings. For artifacts acquisitions, select one or multiple endpoints and press the acquisition button. After choosing artifacts acquisition, you will see a list of available logical drives. Select the needed drive and specify how the image will be stored. Then specify the checksum options. Then choose the artifacts you require for the remote acquisition, and you can specify audios, documents, pictures, and videos, and you can check all or just extract the types and extensions that you'll need. Set the schedule of when the imaging should start and when the upload of the acquired image to the server should start. Check all options and set the endpoint image path and server image path if needed. And now you can start the artifacts acquisition. The remote acquisition task will be started in tasks. The result of artifacts acquisition is a tar archive with the collected data. And you can use the Belka ML or tar file to analyze the result within Belkasoft Evidence Center X or Belkasoft X for short. For mobile acquisitions, Select one endpoint and press the Acquire button. After choosing Mobile, you can select either Android or Apple acquisition to be performed. Create ADB Backup, Android File System Copy, or MTP PTP images for Android devices and or iTunes Backup, Jailbroken Device Images, and AFC Backup for Apple devices. For RAM acquisitions, First, you'll select one or several Windows endpoints and press the Acquire button. After choosing RAM acquisition, set the image creation options. Calculate the hashes and checksum. Set the scheduled time. Specify your own saving options if the default options do not fit. Review and start the acquisition process. 
task progress is available in tasks. Image name .mem file will be available in the corresponding folder after completing the acquisition. BelkaSoft DFIR products make your investigations quicker, easier, more comprehensive, and more effective. Download your free trials today at belkasoft.com forward slash trial. Thank you for watching this video. We greatly appreciate your time and interest.